Hello, today I'm going to show you how to fit the new Hive radiator valves. Uh, so I've unboxed it here. In the box you've got the head itself, two adapters, AA batteries, um, the small Allen key which fits into there if you need that adapter, the adapter guide and the quick start guide. The quick start guide doesn't really have a lot of information in it because most of the information that you need is actually on the app when you start the installation. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, go ahead, um, this is the, the valve that I'm taking off, so just unscrew it. Most types of radiator valves you want to screw, that part then comes away from the valve. We're not changing this part, that's the part staying. Um, the Hive TRV does not come with the, with the valve, so if you haven't got a thermostatic radiator valve already, you will need to have this one fitted um, by a plumber or a di you know you can do it as a DIY job. So if we take the adapter guide and pop that on there. You can see that it fits flush with the top of the thread on the valve. So if we go through the Hive installation app on the app, it'll show you that um, we need this adapter. So this is a slightly smaller, slightly smaller adapter. We don't need the Allen key to fit this one, so you just put it on and screw it down. Um, what we're now going to have to do is take the TIV head apart to get the batteries in. So do you need two hands for this? Pressing, going to press that tab, and it releases the bottom section. Just hold on a second. So like I say, you do need two hands to do this because you have to press the tab. Okay, so once you press the tab, you can then pull the, the very bottom part off. So that part comes away um, from this by pressing that part there. Okay, and then we need to put the batteries in. Okay, so two batteries in there. It shows you on the valve itself which way they need to go in. So now that's in, now those are in, you can now pop the cover back on. So you pop the cover back on. You'll see now that it's flashing M. I don't know if you can just about to see that on the screen, which is correct for this part of the installation. So what I'm going to do is just put the TRV head onto the adapter now, and we just screw it around. Make sure it's on nice. And once we get to a certain point, it'll actually start to get tighter. But what we need to do is we actually need to turn it round so that we can see the front. This clicking noise is normal, that's fine. You just need to click it round until it's facing you. So that's perfectly normal like that. Uh, and then the next part is all done through the app. Um, you just need to sync it up to your Hive account. So with this one, I've only used the one adapter. So this one with the Allen grub screw in it isn't going to be used, so I don't actually need that. And likewise, I don't need the Allen key. I haven't used that part, so I don't need that either. Um, obviously, the adapter guide was useful for the installation. Um, the old TRV head now you can keep that if you want to, but your hive's going to be your hive radiator valve head's going to be doing the job uh, of that now. Um, so once you've done all that, um, the next process is to actually go through um, just the installation on the app. I'll ask you um, to do a calibration on it as well, um, which I can put another video up of doing the calibration. So thanks for watching.